Today I'm going to show you how to set up and calibrate a FieldView DVC6200 digital valve controller. We are going to start by opening the ValveLink software. Make sure the software is communicating with the connected device you'll be working on today. Open the tag by double clicking on the device icon. If the instrument is in service, as indicated by the yellow icon at the bottom, take it out of service before getting started. Click the instrument mode button and click set out of service. Once the light bulb icon at the bottom is dark, go to the menu bar option, Instrument Setup, and then go to Setup Wizard. First, decide what type of control you want to give the instrument. The options are Travel, Pressure, or Travel Control with Fallback options. I'm going to choose Fallback on Sensor Failure or Deviation. This option allows the device to default to Pressure Fallback from Travel Control. Now we need to choose a relay type. The instrument I am working with has Relay A installed. If you have an SIS unit, a low bleed option, or are unsure, check the relay type by removing the instrument cover and finding the label on the relay. Select your relay type from the menu and click Next. Now choose the pressure configuration settings. First, choose your pressure units. The default is bar, but I'm going to select PSI. Set your maximum supply pressure by looking at the pressure gauges on the DVC-6200 digital valve controller or the plate on your actuator. This instrument's maximum supply is 35 PSI. Since I chose a control option of fallback on sensor failure or deviation, I don't need to change the pressure control options because they will be set later during the automatic calibration procedure. Click Next. This portion of the setup wizard needs the basic actuator information. My actuator is a Fisher Controls 667 model with a size of 40. I do not have a volume booster or a quick release. You can find this information on your actuator's nameplate. Click Next. If this is the first time you are running the setup wizard, you can choose Yes for factory defaults, but if your instrument may have previous settings, you'll lose some by choosing Yes. Selecting No will preserve any previous values. Choosing Custom allows you to change options independently, but we are assuming an initial setup this time. Click Finish and the setup wizard will apply your user settings. The DVC-6200 digital valve controller is now configured and the next step is to calibrate it. You should now choose to run Auto Travel Calibration. These will cause the valve to move, so ensure the instrument and valve assembly is isolated and not exposed to any live processes or a process upset will occur. This window offers a warning that the valve will move now. Click Next to continue. It will now calibrate. Once that process is complete, you can choose to move the valve to set the high and low values for pressure fallback options. ValveLink will now calibrate the device for you. Lastly, remember to place the instrument back in service by clicking the Instrument Mode button here and then clicking Set in Service Step. Your FieldView DVC6200 digital valve controller has been successfully configured and calibrated.